Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and following my last video, I wanted to go ahead and showcase yet another item that I came across while I was at my local Oakley store. Uh, the last video that I posted was the different face coverings that Oakley had um, available in 2020. Uh, if you guys uh, want to see that video, I'll go ahead and leave it at the end of this one. I'll leave a link to that video if you guys are interested. But um, this was another item that I came across. Now today, I was actually at an Oakley Vault. If you guys don't know the terminology, an Oakley Vault is a an outlet store from Oakley. Um, usually you'll find them in outlet malls. And they usually carry uh, some of the newer stuff as far as eyewear and um, you know like backpacks and stuff like that. But they also carry some... Um, older, uh, maybe either discontinued or on sale uh, as far as eyewear goes. And then they also carry apparel and accessories from previous seasons and vault specific stuff. Well, um, with that being said, this is a, an outlet store from Oakley. And I walked in and I actually saw this particular model kind of sitting on the shelf and uh, it quickly kind of caught my attention because um, you don't see uh, this particular style or this particular type of eyewear a lot in Oakley stores. Now, this is a uh, an eyewear from a company called ESS. And a little backstory: ESS was actually one of uh, several uh, sunglass companies that were underneath the Oakley umbrella before the, you know Exotica bought them out. So, um, you know, the, the, basically Oakley owned ESS and a couple other companies also, and now Luxottica owns everybody, but ESS is still producing um, eyewear. Now, ESS kind of, um, they're more geared towards like military, law enforcement, first responders, uh, those type of folks. So their eyewear is kind of more geared towards those uh, capabilities. So when I saw this one, um, I was drawn to it and I decided to pick it up primarily because I wanted to showcase it here in case somebody is interested in picking up something like this. Um, you know, definitely check out the, the your local Oakley stores or local vaults and, and see if they have them available. Uh, again, depending on if it's something that you need. So this is, I'll bring it in closer. This is the ESS and the model is called Crossbow, but this is the PPE with gasket. So in case you guys don't know, PPE stands for Personal Protective Equipment. Uh, it's basically any type of equipment that a person um, puts on in order to protect themselves, uh, be it law enforcement, military, um, uh, first responders, uh, healthcare workers, people working in hospitals and stuff like that. Uh, you know, and it could be anything from eyewear to gloves to boots to suits uh, and then masks also. So all that stuff is considered PPE. So again, these this particular model is being marketed as something that you could wear as part of your PPE. And this one has a gasket, which I'll go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. So this is what it, um, the way that it came, it didn't come in a box or anything like that. And I think this is just something that uh, maybe Oakley had a surplus of and decided to send it out to some of the stores to have it be readily available because of everything that's going on right now. So let's go ahead and open it up. We'll take a look at the content. So um, you have the, the glasses inside of the microfiber cloth here or microfiber bag. And as you guys can tell, it is an Oakley uh, branded bag. So again, that's where the, uh, the two companies kind of, uh, you know, fall under the same umbrella. This is the gasket here. Um, it does come with a strap, which is really nice that they included that because obviously depending on your, um, you know, your, the type of business or the type of industry that you're in, uh, you know, you might need something like that to keep it more secure. It also comes with these little drops. They're called OP drops. And as you guys can see right there, it says anti-fog and lens cleaner. So the good thing about these lenses is that they, um, with this solution here, it makes them, um, not fat fog up just as bad. Now, um, in my experience, I've had other uh, eyewear that have, that's supposed to be anti-fog, uh, and you know, it, it's not a hundred percent anti-fog, but it does help and then it helps you to clean the lens and then it comes with your warranty information and then um, the uh, You know how to actually install the gasket in there. So uh, Again gaskets the strap the drops and then the glasses here So I'll go ahead and take these out and again this model is called the crossbow and 
As you guys can see, this is a shield lens, so it's one complete lens. It's not individual lenses, and it's open at the bottom here. So this is good if you're wearing um, a mask or a face covering or something like that. You're still going to be able to wear these and not have to worry about the mask impeding the usage of the glasses or vice versa. The, uh, the stems right here are nice and thin, which is really good because, again, if you're wearing any type of hearing protection or a hat or something like that, you know, these will be thin enough to be able to fit underneath. You do have um, rubber uh, on underneath the, the, the stems right here, which goes over your ears, so it'll help it uh, kind of keep in place. Now, obviously, because these are um, marketed as PPE they're, uh, or safety glasses also, they're um, Z87 Plus rated, so it's actually stamped on the frame right there. And then you have all the different markings and everything on the lenses and on the frame, so uh, you are able to wear these as um, impact-resistant glasses, or uh, if you work in, in an industry where it requires you to have um, eye protection, you can go ahead and, and wear these, which is really good. Uh, you also have uh, rubber on the nose piece right here. Again, that's going to help it uh, to, to kind of stay in place. Now, uh, what's really cool is that this model is actually available in two uh, different styles. So you have the glasses alone, and then you have you can buy them with the kit that comes with the gasket also. I don't know if, if the, 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 the other kit comes with, uh, with the strap and the uh, solution here, but I know one comes with the gasket and one comes without the gasket. Now the beauty of it is um, that the one without the gasket is $45 and the one with the gasket is $65. So again, depending on if you have a need for the gasket, and uh, if you're wondering what the gasket does is it, it allows for, um, or it, it prevents, I should say, uh, from of air from coming in. So again, if you're in an industry that's very windy or um, dusty, or sandy or anything like that, and you don't want any of that stuff coming in uh, underneath the lens or on the side or anything like that, you can throw on the gasket and this will help that from, from not happening. So uh, again, for $65, I think it makes for a great option, um, especially, like I said, with everything that's going on now, there are certain people uh, first responders, law enforcement, stuff like that, that maybe you cannot get away with wearing like a face shield, but you still want to protect your eyes, then something like this definitely would come in handy because you have one full lens, which is really good. It still gives you good peripheral vision and everything like that, but it gives you that protection of uh, uh, of any, um, you know, any maybe liquids or, or bodily fluids or whatever getting into your eyes and protecting you that way. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can see what they look like first by themselves and then um, with the with the gaskets on there. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and put these on. Again, this is the ESS Crossbow. It is a very, very comfortable frame. It sits really close to the face, which is nice, especially if you're going to be using them uh, for PPE purposes. You want it to sit as close as possible. Um, that way it's not moving around. And because you might be wearing, uh, you know, something on your head, maybe like a hat, a hard hat or some sort, of, some sort of protection on your head and maybe even a mask, you don't want everything to be in its place, but it gives you uh, a good Feel the vision again. It's one piece piece lens. Good protection on the sides right there. So um, you know, if, if I'm going to be wearing a mask, I'm not going to have to worry about it. Um, you know, getting in the way or anything like that. Again, as you guys can see, um, it's it's a very low profile, which is nice also. But it's very very comfortable, especially with that rubber on top of the ears here and on the nose. It definitely stays in place. It's not going to move around or anything like that. Let me go ahead and put on a mask so you guys can see what that looks like. All right, guys, so here it is with a face covering. Again, this is the Oakley face covering that I recently reviewed right before this video. Uh, as I'm talking, I can see a little bit of fogging right in the bottom here. Now, I don't know if that's just for me handling the glasses and stuff like that. If I went ahead and removed some of the anti-fog uh, solution that originally comes with the glasses, but it's not so bad where it's everything is fogging up. So if you've been in the situation where you've used face covering or a mask and eyewear, you know, um, whether it's clear eyewear like this or sunglasses or anything like that, you definitely get a lot of, uh, you know, of the fogging going on. This one, it happens a little bit down here and then it, it goes away right away. So um, I could easily see myself if I had to wear the, uh, the crossbow and a face covering or a mask for a prolonged amount of time, not have to worry about them fogging up too much. Now let me go ahead and throw the gaskets on there so you guys can see what that looks like. 
All right guys, so here is the crossbow with the gasket installed. Again, um, it looks a little interesting. Uh, it feels a little interesting too because obviously it seals everything out. But again, uh, depending on the, the environment that you're gonna be in, if it's gonna be very windy or you're gonna have a lot of debris kind of flying at you and going all around, then the gasket is definitely something that you're gonna want. I don't know if you guys can make it out, but it seals everything all around. So top, on the sides, and on the bottom is completely sealed out but the cool thing is um, you also have a feature where you can actually push back on the gasket and it'll actually open up um, so basically what it's doing is it's the gasket is staying in place but the frame itself is actually going forward a little bit and it's allowing for some airflow to come from the top but then if you want to go ahead and, and close that you can just push it back in and uh, it'll close that I'm going to turn the camera back around and show you guys a tabletop uh, view of what I'm talking about all right guys, so here is again the crossbow with the gasket installed. So again, it is sealing everything all the way around, but if you need it to, as you guys can see right here, there's a little portion of the top, you can actually push that back, all right? And by pushing it back, it actually opens up these, um, you know, the, the, the portion of the top right here in between the frame itself and the gasket. So it allows for airflow to come in, but then just as easily, all you have to do is push it back forward and it closes that gap back up. And then you have that complete seal all around the frame, which is uh, what you would want again in, a, in an environment where you're going to have a lot of debris or wind all around you. All right, last thing I wanted to show you is the strap right here. If you wanted to go ahead and attach it to the frame, it does have the frame itself at the end right here has the holes. So it has a little hole on this side and one on the other. And then the strap has these little pegs that will just uh, push through onto those holes. You can go ahead and attach it on either side. And then that'll give you more retention on the frame. Again, if you're not gonna be, um, you know, let's say you're taking them off, you can hang them around your neck, or if you need them to sit tight on your head and make sure that they're not gonna be coming off whatsoever, you can go ahead and throw the strap on and they'll be nice and secure so I think for the most part if you are in an industry that requires you to wear some sort of eye protection I think this is a good option um, it's definitely a better option than you know getting the uh, the kind of cheaper um, you know ones that you would find like at Walmart or something like that uh, the, the good thing is that these are rated um, they're stamped and rated so if you're in an industry that requires you to have that particular level of protection these will definitely fit in um, with uh, any um, you know uh, OSHA standards or anything like that. So definitely, if you have uh, an Oakley store or an Oakley vault in your area and you're um, in need or you've been looking for something like this, check them out. Um, you know, see if they've gotten them in. Uh, like I said, I found these at a vault and uh, they were forty-five dollars for the regular one and then sixty-five for the kit with the gasket. So that is a really good deal. So there it is. This is the ESS crossbow, the PPE edition. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.